Hey everybody, welcome to Wine Light Media. This is your wine recommendation and it's a Friday, so I'm not gonna get too in depth here. I'm actually not gonna do any research at all. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about a boutique winery. Again, a winery that's probably overlooked because most people don't even know about it. It's pretty new, it's located um, behind uh, Flat Rock Cellars. So if you know where Flat Rock is, it's located behind that and sort of right adjacent to, um, or sorry, across um, from Sue Ann's staff. So if you know where her winery is. Um, so Google, just Google Westcott Vineyards, everyone's got Google and you'll know where you're going. But so it's a little place and um, really quaint and a restored type of barn, very nice. I think they have a, uh, a patio or a deck now that you can, um, you can go chill out on. And they have some cooking events there with some top chefs uh, to pair with their wine. So look out for those events. I always see them posted um, by Victoria Westcott. So Victoria, the daughter of the owners. That's, I've met her many times. If you're watching Victoria, hello. <laughs> um, so yeah. I mostly, well actually the first time I tasted these wines was at Cuvée and um, it was their Chardonnay and then I take, went to the winery, tasted all their wines and I really like their style. It's got a Burgundian type style to their wine. So uh, they're, they're dry and firm but they also have this beautiful softness to them which I think is very important um, and they have a little bit, uh, you know, the fruitiness obviously from the, um, the vibrancy you get in the cool climate but it's also got some nice earthy undertones uh, from what I can remember. I haven't tasted this yet so we're going to taste it together. Uh, so Westcott Vineyards, um, again just going off of memory um, and I only know this because my mother went to E.L. Crosley, which is a school in Fawn Hill. And I think that's where the uh, the, the owners of this winery is, um, you know, husband-wife combo. So I, reading in my memory, I, I think the story was that she went in French immersion and she ended up going overseas to the Loire Valley, uh, studying French, got into the culture, obviously wine that stuck with her in her brain until she, you know, matured. Uh, and um, when she was living and working in Toronto with her husband, they re she realized that, you know, I want to, I want to, I want to do this. I want to, I want to make wine. I want to be in the wine business. So, they, they left their busy lives to come to the beautiful Niagara region and start a winery. And, uh, you know, I think they've done a very good job. I like all their wines. They're Chardonnay bombastic. <laughs> That's the one word I can use. It's very big, very buttery, very, uh, it's not over the top oaky, but you, you get that beautiful vanilla custard notes, right? Very similar, I'd say, to Back 10 Cellars, uh, their Chardonnay. Actually, both these wineries, this very small startup wineries and um, very... Um, attention to detail right and everything that they do so those are two wineries i would check out back 10 cellars west caught vineyards so we're gonna try their pinot it's a 20 uh, 2012 sorry 2012 very hot year pinot noir west caught vineyards let's uh, let's get into this happy friday everybody so this looks like it won a bronze at the uh national wine Awards of canada that's uh wine alliance awards the wine Alliance. So let's see what's happening. No, it smells good already. I'm telling you, you get, okay, so you get like, yeah, you get that sweet, um, almost like burnt sugar note here, but it's earthy. I get like a mushroom note to this. Yeah, it's nice. Really nice earthy Pinot. Very Burgundian. If you're into like Pinot Noirs from France, you know, Burgundies, whether they're Bourgogne or Village or, you know, uh, Premier or Grand Cru, if you can afford it. <laughs> uh, if you're into French Pinots, though, Burgundies, uh, you'd appreciate this for sure. Nose sort of reminds me, uh, like Norman Hardy. He, he makes some really Burgundian type wines. Prince Edward County. Yeah, very nice. The winemaker for this is uh, Arthur Harder, okay? So he makes wine uh, for, um, not culinary, it starts with the C. Can't believe I forget this. Leave it in the comments. Calamus, there it is. So... Wow. 
little drier than I remember. This wine needs time. Time. Just like a baby. A baby is just, Meh. and then, you know, once it starts growing up, it goes, Meh. and then it starts saying thank you and hello and daddy and mummy, and it progresses, and uh, that's what this wine is. It, it, this wine needs progression. So a very, very nice wine, but very tight right now. I think most people would be disappointed if you opened it right now. All the nuances are there. I mean, it smells great. Flavors, flavors are there. It's just really, really dry right now. Yeah. Whoa, is that dry. I mean, I prefer my Pinot Silky, so this needs to lay down for about, uh, well, honestly, four to six years before I would drink this, so. Beautiful wine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wine. Buy one, hold on to it for four years. It'll pay back big dividends. That is your Wine of the Week, Westcott Vineyards 2012. Pinot Noir. Cheers.